Good morning, sister friends. Welcome to Breakfast Bites. It's April 9th, 2020. Tomorrow is Good Friday, and this coming Sunday is Easter, the day we celebrate the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. In the days leading up to Jesus' arrest, his trial, and his physical death, Jesus wanted his disciples to understand that his physical presence with them would soon be replaced by his spiritual presence, that of the Holy Spirit, which would live in them and continue to lead them. In John 14, 26 and 27, my New King James Bible translation says, But the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he, meaning the Holy Spirit again, will teach you all things and bring to your remembrance all things that I said to you. And here's my favorite part, girls, when Jesus went on to say, Peace I leave with you. My peace I give to you. Not as the world gives do I give to you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. Let's also read it from the New Living Translation. I'm leaving you with a gift, peace of mind and heart. And the peace I give is a gift the world cannot give. So don't be troubled or afraid. I don't know about you, but I still find it hard to wrap my brain around the fact that Jesus was talking about peace and crucifixion as part of the same concept. But he was. Paul totally understood it, and he tried to explain it in his letter to the Galatians, chapter 2, verse 20. He wrote, I've been crucified with Christ. It is no longer I who live, but Christ lives in me. Paul's old self was dead to the world. Sister, so is yours. Are you hanging on to something this morning that Christ is asking you to bring to the cross? Let go of whatever it is you shouldn't be holding on to. Let the Holy Spirit who lives in you remind you that things of this world can't give you peace. As a child, I found it confusing that chocolate bunnies, Easter eggs, and a new dress for Easter Sunday seemed to be part of my family's way of celebrating Easter. As I grew up, well, I learned that there are times a new dress really can make me feel like a new woman. And I've come to think of chocolate bunnies and Easter eggs at Easter time as joyful symbols of new life, my own new life, when Jesus took my sins away. So take a bite out of that chocolate bunny, girls, and enjoy to the fullest all the grace and peace of relying on your salvation for everything. I have no doubt Jesus considered it an honor to die for you and me on the cross. Embrace that. Let's pray. Thank you, Jesus, for loving me enough to die for me and then to invite me to share in that death, in that place where my sins were forgiven and my new life began. Today, I lay down my own agenda at the foot of the cross. Thank you for raising me up every day to walk in new life with you. And all God's sister friends said, 